Welcome back to Body Shockers, a gruesome yet compelling odyssey through the catalogue of self-induced catastrophes that have befallen the human body. I've just had a fax here from a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous. It reads, Dear Tom, I have my own Body Shocker terrible, horrible, repulsive cellulite, and I'm worried that if I go on holiday, a photographer might take a snap of me in my bikini and I'll end up looking hideous in some gossip magazine. Is there anything you can recommend I use to cover it up? Big kisses, moi, moi. Well, yes, I can recommend this. It's an excellent cover-up cream. Take a generous amount and you smear it all over the Paps lens. No snap, no cellulite, no problem. Real women have chub rub. Women live in fear of having a photograph taken at the back of their legs with a few lumpy bits. There must be no bigger motivator for getting down the gym than seeing that still of, of the wobbly cellulite. There's nothing wrong with a bit of cellulite as long as you've got a good figure to go with it. I don't think I could hide it if I tried. The only way I could do that is probably by wearing very thick tights. It is regarded as just one of the, the most hideous things that you can have on your body. Cellulite is so common, and I can tell you that I haven't seen one celebrity who doesn't have cellulite. Misha Barton, for example, walking around, doing her thing. Paparazzi spotted her, took photos of her. Definitely spotted some cellulite on the backs of her legs. There's three, like, you know, 50-something women editors in, like, jumpers, like, oh, look, she's got some, yeah. Tara Reid has been photographed numerous times um, in bikinis with lots of cellulite. Beth Ditto is one of my favorite celebrities, just purely because she does not give a toss what's going on. You get a cellulite picture, but nobody will run it now, because they're like, Oh, Beth doesn't care about it. It's not going to provoke, provoke a reaction. It's actually refreshing for most women who look at the back of their legs in the mirror every morning to know that there are these superstars who suffer from it as well. People think it's just fat and they try to lose the fat, but cellulite is really a buildup of toxins and fluid right in, in the fat cells right underneath your skin. Well, Lily Allen, her early 20s, I think she smokes, she drinks. She's got basically everything it needs to develop cellulite. You would have to work very hard and be very disciplined not to have it. I think Lily Allen's great, and uh, if she's got cellulite, then that just makes me like her even more. I think it's surprising for a lot of people to, to, to hear that somebody like Kate Moss would have cellulite because you know, she's so thin, she's thick thin, in fact. Yeah, I think people were surprised when they saw that Kate Moss had cellulite. There was one particular photograph uh, where Kate Moss was actually on the catwalk. Every woman is going to think, yes, Kate Moss has got cellulite. I refuse to believe that's actually Kate Moss. That was, you know, seriously an over 50 fetish magazine. It was surprising for us to see that even supermodels, you know, still have cellulite. The thing that people now realise in this day and age is when they do these photo shoots, they're airbrushed and it's not real. 